What is going on, BF family? How are you guys doing today? It's your girl, Crystal, and welcome back to the channel, guys. So today, 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 we're going to be watching 10 haunted dolls that still exist to this day. So guys, if you guys have not joined the family yet, please subscribe, like, comment, and share the videos. Let's get to 1,000 subscribers. Let's get me there. Please, please, please get these videos viral. Get them recommended. I would like you guys to share the videos as much as possible. Share them with your friends, your family, your grandma, your dad, your mom, your sister, whoever you would like. So guys, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of horrified about this little thing that we're going to be watching today because it's about dolls. Um, I never told you back when I was a kid, I used to collect collectible dolls. The ones that used to be still in the box, like you can never like take them out. They were just collectibles just to be there, you know, just to be there. Um, me personally, when I, as growing up, I never liked dolls just because, I don't know, I just never liked dolls. Like, I don't have an explanation on why I didn't like dolls. It's just they look really creepy to me and I just don't like them. Like, my kids have dolls upstairs and when they don't play with them, I throw them things away because I, I just don't like them. I just don't like them. So guys, we're going to get right into this video. Um, comment down below what you guys think. Um, like I said, I'm terrified for, of this video just because um, we're going to see what this video consists of because I'm scared. Okay, here we go, guys. Teeny, the 18-inch dressed-up doll would make for a great addition to any doll collection. To Sherry Koo and her current owner, Mercy the doll was nothing but a collection of terrors in a pretty dress. Her cherub-like face depicts an innocence lost within the claims Julie. that either the spirit of a seven-year-old or a more malicious force resides within the porcelain vessel. Purchased from Kuhn off of eBay, the doll's more recent antics include turning a radio on and being found standing perfectly on the floor despite oh, no. being placed on a shelf prior. Number nine, Alice, a ghostly whisper in the night, one almost inaudible, even in the dead silence of the evening. I want to be left alone to suffer, the hushed voice speaks, but you know not where it came from. We assume this was the experience of Marie Ford of Washington, owner of a morose doll named Alice, locked in a case for generations. Marie claims that the doll whispers to those willing to listen, often oh no. stating her desire for solitude, and will change her expression if displeased with her company. What? According to Marie's grandmother, the doll is said to be possessed by her best friend, Alice. Oh Number God. eight, Letta the doll. Is it a tale of obsession? Or the power of whatever residual spirit that haunts the dead-eyed Letta the doll? That's the question we're left with after looking at the case of Carrie Walton and the wooden marionette believed to be haunted by the spirit of a Romany child who drowned. In 1972, Walton claims to have found the doll at an abandoned home and named it Letta for its Romany roots. Sporting real human hair, the doll is no visual prize, but Walton has repeatedly mentioned his inability to get rid of it due to an unexplainable force. Letta is said to incite anger from animals, draw sadness from people, and move on its own. Number seven, the devil doll. That happy smile and wide eyes are only to distract you from this doll's real intentions, which could be more sinister than you can possibly imagine. Allegedly designed and created by an artist named Raphael for a friend, the odd satanic baby doll never made it to its owner. Refused burial in the coffin of its intended owner, the devil doll is thought to be haunted by the spirit of Raphael's friend, who channels through the red leathery baby by twisting its head oh, and no. whispering to those around it. I'm Number getting six, so scared right now. Caroline. I'm getting goosebumps all over my what body right now. What haunts the 16 inch dreary eyed porcelain doll known as Caroline? It's an ongoing debate among paranormal enthusiasts. 
enthusiasts and investigators, though popular theory points to three different spirits battling for control. Legend has it that a series of different owners ensured that their spirits would be transferred to the doll upon their deaths. Purchased from a Salem, Massachusetts antique shop, Caroline has been passed around from investigator to investigator, each one confirming the claims that something is living behind the figure's blue eyes. Number five, Mandy. otherwise empty hallways oh you're not going mad it's just mandy a no. doll plagued with mystery before she donated her to the quinell museum in british columbia mandy's previous owner known only as miranda claimed the doll would emit a baby's cry in the middle of the night when she would I'm check on the warm baby doll i would have been scared if i heard stop, any doll cry like a baby in the room would be different, often an ajar window that was closed. After donating Mandy to the museum, Miranda has been free of haunting whales in the night. That's Number creepy. four. That's creepy. Pupa. Though That's the creepy. owner That's of creepy. this plaited doll believed she was alive, one could blame it on an imagination run wild. Where Pupa's haunted story really begins is after her owner's death in 2005 when she was placed in a glass case by the surviving family members. It's said that whatever spirit lives within Pupa is very active and dissatisfied with its place behind glass. The doll has been found to change positions and has even escaped her glass jail. Oh, when the loneliness becomes unbearable, Pupa has been heard banging on the glass for attention and has been reported steaming the glass up to write the words Pupa hate. Number three, Pulau Ubin Barbie. A sad story dating back to World War I. The Barbie doll on display and worshipped in Pulau Ubin, Singapore, was said to have been connected to a German girl who was forced to flee her family's plantation in England. Escaping to nearby mountains, the girl fell from a cliff and died, what? leaving behind a lost soul bred from tragedy. While locals worshipped a porcelain altar to keep her spirit at bay, an Australian immigrant was led to purchase a specific Barbie doll from a recurring dream. Believing the girl's soul transferred into the doll, the Barbie was placed in the shrine where it receives offerings for health and fortune. Number two, Robert. It all started with doll. a young Robert Eugene Otto, who received a plain-faced doll in 1906. Robert the doll seemed normal until one night when Eugene's parents heard their son talking to the doll. And another voice responded. Eugene eventually started blaming the doll for his misdeeds. And neighbors noticed it moving from window to oh, window. No. But he held on to it well into his adulthood. After Eugene's passing, Robert was found in the attic of his home by new owners. Who eventually handed it off to the Fort East Martello Museum in Key West, Florida when it was accused of threatening their daughter's life. Number one, Annabelle. What? No, no, Chester, she's not single. In fact, famed demonologists Ed and Lorraine Warren believed her to be the physical embodiment of evil, so much so that they locked her up behind glass within their museum of paranormal oddities. Legend has it that the Raggedy Ann doll purchased from a hobby store in 1970 as a graduation gift was first believed by a medium to be haunted by a young, playful spirit named Annabelle Higgins. The case of Annabelle grew more sinister when she was accused of physically harming a house guest twice. When the Warrens were called in, the spirit was deemed to be demonic, inhuman, manipulative and incredibly dangerous wait once the video is over they should give it a like
All right, guys. So basically, as the list of the dolls that were going through, I noticed two dolls that I heard of. Um, definitely Annabelle. I heard about her. Um, it's kind of crazy that, you know, that this doll is still existing today. Um, in the Warner's home. Um, she's basically locked up in a case and I've heard nothing but negativity about that doll. And they say like you can go visit it, but you can't, you know, you know, bang on the glass or say negative things to it or do anything to it. Basically anything negative because it will um, do some things to you. Um, Robert, the doll, I've heard of that one too. I've heard of that one, you know, that one's in the case as well. And I've heard of a lot of stories about that one as well. I don't want to get more in specific with that just because I do not like talking about haunted dolls just because I'm Catholic and I believe in anything like anything spiritual, demonic, anything like that. I do not want to, I actually want to pray right now because I do not want to go to sleep thinking about this video because um, I just don't, I just need to pray. So give me a moment of silence to pray and then I'll get back to you. So. Okay, yeah, so, um, like I was saying, um, like, I am, you know, I am Catholic, and, um, I just don't, I just don't know what to say at this point, because this, this video is really, like, giving me goosebumps, and, you know, I wanted to, you know, do a little something different on the channel, um, I'm definitely going to be start doing vlogs and things like that on the channel. Um, I'm actually going out of town. Don't know when, um, but I'll, guys, I'll let you guys know. And um, I love you guys so much. And please comment down below. And if you, got, if you guys want a shout out at the end of each video, every video that I post, you'll get a, a wonderful shout out. I'll basically randomly select you. And yeah. So, if you want to shout out, just please comment down below. And please subscribe and join the family if you guys have not already. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Peace.